We're both wearing smart glasses, but which one's smarter? I am. No, I'm talking about the glasses. All right. Okay. Uh, I think these glasses might be. We're going to review the Focals by North next. I'm so smart. <laughs> this is Twit. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by Plex. Plex is offering $10 off the lifetime Plex Pass subscription for new subscribers only at plex.tv slash twit, code twit10. It's been six years since I actually wore Google Glass with any amount of seriousness. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off because it's time to anoint a new uh, a new dominant wearable yeah, on I think our so. face. Anthony uh, Nielsen, intrepid producer <laughs> of Hands On Tech. Oh well, yeah, these what are, are you wearing. These are <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Focals by North, and originally we were thinking about having you review them, but initially you needed to get uh, your face scanned to get these fitted for, and you were too yeah, busy. Yeah, I think that that is one big consideration about these glasses: is that these are not like. You take the Google Glasses. Actually, I had to get fitted for these too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So we had to go to go to Google initially when they first launched this. So right. I did have a fitting session, but not everybody had to do that. With the Focals by North, you actually have to go somewhere and have them fit these to your face so that you see the display in the right place. Yeah, and we'll uh, circle back to that because now you don't actually have to go to a showroom to get these glasses. So it's actually very similar to how Google <laughs> it is. did it with the Google Glass. But so what are these? What are these things? What are they capable well, okay. of? Okay, well, you know, usually maybe behind the camera, I'm actually pretty nervous. So I, I've set up Google Slides. Uh, Am I standing in the way well, of can, it? Can, I'll, I'll get out of this. Okay. No, 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 just kidding. So, okay. My Focals by North review. Oh, this is really, this is really nice, Anthony. By Anthony Nielsen. <laughs> you've, you've created something really special. <laughs> <laughs> what are Focals? That's a good question. That's what I'm wondering. Focals are smart glasses that use a holographic lens and projector to create a display only you can see. When oh. paired with your smartphone, Focals help you stay connected with people, <laughs> places, and information you care about. Calendar reminders and SMS <laughs> conversations float about at arm's length away from you keeping okay. you informed with a single loop press. This, this all looks very natural to me. It's yes. Like, like you've been doing this for, <laughs> for well, years now. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I was, I was reading uh, copy. Yeah, from, I from my, Oh, you I, did? I could tell. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, partially because we're streaming the words, uh, streaming kind of the view, but I can also see a little glimmer mm -hmm. Uh, in your eyes, kind of somewhat reminiscent of the little prism yeah. in Google Glass, but a little bit. more embedded into the lens, which is why you got fitted in the first yeah. place. Yeah, they call it a retinal projection display. Okay. There's a uh, laser projection that's bouncing off of a, a holographic film. It's kind oh, of yeah. hard to I tell. I can see the little reflection right there. Yep. Yeah. In effect, you get a display that's about a, at arm's length. It's about yay big, and um, the Resolution is a 110 by 110, so it's not not super high. Not res, super high res, but, but it's also very small. Yeah, and I'm uh, mirroring the display uh, so you could tell on my iPhone what it looks like, and they use very um, simple shapes so that you could uh, read it easily. You don't really right. need the, the high resolution. Yeah, and the words are a little bit larger and everything. You're not trying to cram on too much information. Yeah. Into view, just enough to hopefully instruct you uh, through your day, sure. essentially. And okay. while we're looking at the display, this is the kind of your home screen. They call it the now screen. All the screens are very like context sensitive. So right now, it's oh, okay. Me <laughs> how it, long it, it'll take? It's built up a memory of, of like when you usually uh, head home. I, th can... I think it's just like the usual hours. Okay. And it'll surface that up, and then I also have a, a calendar event right now for uh, recording this very review. It is. It's also showing you what's what's nearby. Now, how does that come into play? Does it is it just uh, like GPS tracking on the inside to know that you are nearby a Starbucks, and then it can say, "Hey, you want to pull into a yeah, Starbucks?" Yeah, I mean, get a coffee, this is all or, you know. These don't really work without your your phone. So, like, okay, it's using the GPS off your phone. Got it. They're also using um, Mapbox for their uh, navigation, which I found is not as great as Google or something. Let's try this. We can search for location and we'll see how good the results are. All right. Pizza. Do you like pizza? I do. <laughs> well, okay, I'm pretty sure there's 
a closer pizza location than okay. Wild Goat. But I, I tried searching for coffee once. I know there's a Starbucks around the corner. It didn't show up. So you know, all right. I'm I'm curious how well the the Mapbox uh, mm -hmm. database is. But mm -hmm. uh, what's nice though is you can get uh, walking directions from within the glasses, or you could catch an Uber. Okay. And when you're navigating, like that was one thing that I actually really liked about Google Glass. One of the one of the uses was navigating instead of having to look on a phone, just having like the turn right appear yeah. in front of me. Like, it is. Was that pretty effective with these? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, I was at Boston for that Twit event. Mm -hmm. Walking to the destination, I used it. It was actually pretty handy. And it doesn't get in the way of no. What, it just what pops up now and then when okay. when you get to that turn or whatever. Oh, and I should actually mention how I'm controlling all this. So they call this the loop, and it's a it's a ring with a a joystick. They could you know do left, right, up and down, and click. Ah, all right. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about wearing the ring then? It feels comfortable. It is a little kind of chunky in the top. Occasionally you'll get the joystick kind of snag on something, but mm -hmm. you know, it hasn't really bothered me that much. All right. Can you so, go swimming with these? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay, so the ring is rated IP66. Okay. So like you can wash your hands. But uh, not swimming with the glasses, uh, although you can splash on it, IP55. So yeah. when you're washing your hands, don't worry. If you're really furious hand yeah, washer, no, no, I, it's okay. I do wash my hands all the time and, and I'm <laughs> right, good. That's off. good to know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back to the interface. When you click it, it'll, it'll take you to the NAS screen. Above the NAS screen, you could uh, change brightness, set volume, and also notification settings. One option being it could tell if you're in mid-conversation and will hold any notifications. Uh, to the left of that, you get all of your, your phone's notifications. It'll let you take action on, on any of these. I could you know read it and also clear it out or yeah. remind me later. The chirping that I'm hearing, is that coming from the phone simulation or is that coming from the glasses? The themselves? chirping is coming from uh, the glasses. There's a, a speaker that's kind of like pointed directly into your ear, so. Oh, okay. It's actually, it, it does seem pretty loud on it my It is, end. well, I can, I can definitely hear yeah, it from yeah. here. I do have that set to the to loudest setting. Okay. Um, certain apps you can connect to it, like Slack, and actually, you know, respond to, to things, and these are just uh, some quick responses. Mm -hmm. And also, I could do voice to text. And are new apps being added on a regular basis, uh, or how is how's that going? Uh, from the months that I've had it, they've added quite a bit of features. So mm -hmm. it's, I'm actually been that's one of the things I've been very impressed. They, they just keep throwing new things into it. Okay. I don't know what you said, but I'll send that to Colleen. Hopefully she <laughs> figures it out. <laughs> you can hold down on the loop ring to pull up a, an action menu where you could either play a video game or they have something where it's kind of like Shazam for recognizing music to add to a Spotify playlist. Okay. And then you got Amazon's Alexa. What's the weather? The current weather is 20 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Tonight's forecast has clear skies with a low of zero degrees. All right. So there are a bunch of apps, actually, that you can tie into it. Uh, certain things like a, a to-do list. You could either do Todoist or use Google Tasks. Or even Evernote. Yeah, they do put all the stuff that they're working on, they throw into a different category called experiments and add certain functions. Mm -hmm. And those are when you're going through the interface, that's all to the to the right of the, the now screen. Here's the my to do list. Apparently, I need to compliment you. So. Oh yes, I, I require that. You are very tall. Thank you. I think that's a compliment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll call it a compliment. So well, I'm very tall, and being tall is good. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. you crossed it off. You've got that out of the way for today. Yeah. Tomorrow's a different story. Uh, we could add tasks, and that's also through the the voice. Um, okay. You got your calendar, uh, places, and again, also you can turn on or off all these these things. Uh, you got your weather, and there's a, a, apparently integration with Google Fit. Yeah, as you can see, I've walked a lot today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's some trivia if you get bored. Okay. So then you got your battery. Yeah. So battery. That's actually a really great question. Like, how do these do when you're wearing them on a regular basis? How many hours do you get yeah. out of them? Yeah. So th th they say about uh, 15 hours of average use, but okay. I found you could like. You could almost squeak out a second day. Oh, um, it's better than I thought. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, uh, but you know, when I'm not wearing them, they just go into this. Uh, oh, fancy case. Should we? Should we talk okay. about that? Okay. This is uh, this is a little bit larger than a normal glasses case, I would say. Yeah. So this is the battery case, and uh, you know, they all just kind of lock in here. Does the case have a, a charge to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It uh, stores about uh, three charges of the, the glasses. Oh. oh, right on. And also they come with a 
some sunglass clip ons. Oh, that's nice. When you're wearing the sunglass clippings, does it affect the kind of view that you get out of the projection? I mean, it, if anything, makes it clearer. Oh, really? On a bright day without the sunglass clips, it can get maybe difficult to read, but I see. With, with the sunglasses, it's... I see. It's uh, always hitting that first layer yeah. of lens before it ever hits the sunglass anyway, so it's not reducing anything. Yeah. This episode of Hands-On Tech is brought to you by Plex. With Plex, you can organize and stream your personal collection of movies, TV shows, music, and photos anywhere on any device. Give your media the royal treatment it deserves with the Plex Pass and get premium features that include premium music, sweet fades, mobile sync, trailers, parental controls, and more. Plex is offering $10 off the lifetime Plex Pass subscription for new subscribers only at plex.tv slash twit, code twit10. That's plex.tv slash twit and enter code twit10. Anything that you wish it did that it doesn't do? Uh, y well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and that, well, part of it is... Uh, these glasses actually make me wish I had an Android phone. In terms of messaging, I could only use Slack and uh, the, the standard SMS messaging in terms of being able to reply. And even then, since Apple doesn't allow third parties to control that, mm -hmm. you get assigned a, another number from North. So you actually did send me a text message earlier, right? Yes. So let, let me So uh, it's something really creative like, mm -hmm. hello, Anthony, how are those glasses? Let's go with a GIF. Is it a uh, Giphy integration? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, or? but I think they just pick a... They just pick a random It's like one. a smart, like it's looking at what you sent and, and picking something that might fit. Okay. Like, like you saw the, the smart reply, the first one was like, great. Yeah. Into your... <laughs> right, we'll, we'll go with Elmo. All right, sure. So if, if you look at um, your phone, you'll see that's, that's actually not my number. Um, no, that is not your number. That is a different number. Uh, it says, hey, it's Anthony Nielsen. I'm messaging you from my vocals by North. Uh, but that is not your number. Yeah, but so hopefully, like, when you see that, you don't think that's odd, and you, you continue to reply to that. And right. basically, on my end, like, it's all integrated. I don't have to really think about it, but I use that new chain as the... And you will only ever see the messages to that number through vocals. So if you happen to not be wearing vocals and you're on no, your phone, will you it, see that it, message? It gets relayed, so I do get... Oh, okay, a, well, that's nice. Yeah. On Android, you have direct control over your actual texting app. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, they just recently added Android notification actions. Yeah, and Android, uh, when a notification comes through, we might uh, the developer might surface a couple of responses yeah. or actions that can be taken, so now those can be relayed through the glasses. Yeah, so nice. that adds a ton of functionality. Okay. Are they comfortable? Yeah, they're, they're fairly comfortable. They, they do feel a little bit heavier, and also uh, the, what do you call these arms? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> they heat up. Uh, yeah, well, because okay, Because the yes. battery's in there. Well, and, and the laser. It, it does heat up, but like only after like really pushing it like we are now, because normally you just like look at it a few seconds and you're out. Right. So this is a, like not a normal use case. It does it get it gets a little warm but not uncomfortably warm. Okay. But I was talking about the the size of the arms. They can kind of mess with your peripheral vision a little bit. Mhm. Mm From the front, they look like a regular pair of glasses. Yes. It's when you look at the side that you start to kind of clue into them. Having said that, I've seen I mean, obviously, Google Glass looks nothing like regular glass. Yeah. Um, seen a few others. Vuzix is another one. And we're getting closer and closer to smart glasses that actually look like regular glasses yeah. with not a whole lot of the compromises. It's not perfect, but these are probably the, the most solid, from a visibility standpoint, they look like real glasses. Yeah, and usually people don't say anything until like we're sitting there for... And then Quite like, a bit. It's wait like, wait, yeah, that? exactly. Yeah. Oh, and also, we didn't even mention that these are non prescription lenses, but you can. You can get them prescription. For $200 extra. Okay, 200 on top of what? What is like the baseline cost? So it is $599. They're pricey. Yeah, it does sound like a lot of money, but I mean, how much would you spend for a new pair of glasses or a, a new smartwatch or both? That's a good point. But I mean, you get everything you need. You get the case and the the loop ring. You, I mean, I've definitely seen you around the office and out and about wearing them. So yeah. you've definitely put in your time. Given all that time and all the use cases that you've put these through, do you recommend them? Like, like is this kind it, of feature? It's, it's are you, hard. 
Are you happy yeah. with the direction of smart glasses? Well, okay, so I did want to wear these for an extended period because I, like, I wanted to see like where I ended up you know, several months out mm -hmm. in terms of integrating into my life. And what I found is in any situation where I'd normally wear sunglasses, like just outside of the house, I definitely like tend to grab these because, you know, being able to like walk through. Oh, that's another thing. I didn't even get to that. We have an Echo in my office, and our, our uh, office mate Patrick Delhanty he used to like to add random things to my shopping list. <laughs> and when I <laughs> so nice yeah, when I first got these, I, I walked into Target, and all of a sudden I got a, a display of hey, you need to buy bananas and just a bunch of random things. And I was like really confused what was going on. So basically, it knew that I was in a Target yeah. and it just surfaced my okay, shopping that's list. Neat. Yeah, that's neat. The best thing was not having my hands tied up. Like I didn't have to pull out my phone or like kind of mess with the screen. Mm -hmm. it's just, just a few notches. Uh, there's a Spotify integration. Even when the, the, the glasses, are, glasses are off, you could you know, skip, pause, and turn up volume just with the, the click of your, your mm -hmm. ring. So like the glasses with the ring was really uh, interesting, and it's great to kind of triage incoming notifications. Mm -hmm. um, it's also easy to to remove certain apps, so I'm not like getting everything. Mm -hmm. The question is, I don't wear glasses normally, so I don't know if I would like. I think if I did, I would just wear them all day, mm -hmm. but that's I just don't. So basically, I I tend to wear them when I'm going to be active. Okay, and I find it really useful. Right on. Oh, and also yeah. So I don't remember if we made it clear, but. Initially, you needed to go to one of their locations in Brooklyn or Toronto or catch them at one of their pop-up locations to get your face scanned and fitted. But now, if you know anyone with a, an iPhone 10 or higher, you could uh, download their, their app and get your face scanned. And oh, you just do it way. in the app? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot easier. It is. <laughs> okay, cool. So if people want to do this, is the best way to go to the website? Uh, I mean, you're not going to find this on Amazon, right? You gotta, no. You yeah. got to buy this directly. Or, I mean, if you're going to use the app, just go to the app store on your iPhone. Okay, and you can order it from there. Yeah. All right, that's Focals by North. If you think that smart uh, glasses are in your future, this might be one of the better solutions that exists right now. Definitely one of the better looking solutions that exists right now. Uh, you can catch me reviewing <laughs> Android <laughs> devices and all about Android, yeah. and you can catch Anthony producing every episode that you see Please of Hands on Tech. And you can subscribe at twit.tv slash H-O-T. We'll see you next time. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.